In today's Tech Bytes, Facebook is responding to the heat over its privacy settings. The social networking site sent a statement to the BBC saying it may simplify the settings. I'm going to interview you now. Yeah, what do you want to know? I want to talk to you about Facebook. I find it such a waste of a lot of time. I'm a big fan of Facebook. I like to put pictures on there. I like to stay in touch with friends. And it's good for keeping tabs on my ex-girlfriend. Facebook has been catching a lot of heat lately for its privacy policy and a bunch of other things I don't really understand. This one I found particularly funny. So I wanted to make this little movie to help understand what Facebook is. Facebook is a tool, a community, a way to stay connected with people. But it's also something else. See, there are two sides to Facebook. The side you know, this is our side. This side's about the friends, the status updates, family, messages. This side is personal. The other side is their side, the business. See, Facebook is free to use, but they make a lot of money. The more info Facebook has, the more it can pool for advertisers. Our personal data equals their bottom line. Are you concerned about Facebook's privacy policy? No, I haven't even thought about that. That doesn't bother me. Alright, Facebook's privacy policy. Information about yourself. When you sign up for Facebook, you provide us with your name, email, gender, birth date. Here are some other things to remember. Some of the content you share or the actions you take will show up on your friends' home pages. If another user tags you in a photo or a video in a place, you can remove the tag. Even after you remove information from your profile or delete your account, copies of that information may remain reviewable elsewhere to the extent it has been shared with others. It was otherwise distributed pursuant to your privacy settings or it was copied or stored by other users. Uh, your privacy settings even if you remove information. Casey, I have no idea what this means. I'm a personal injury lawyer. How's your leg? The Facebook Privacy Policy a binding legal contract between Facebook, the company, and all 500 million of us, the users. We agree to all this nonsensical legal jargon with one tiny little click. By clicking sign up, you're indicating that you have read and agree to the terms of use and privacy policy. Click. What have we all agreed to? I have no idea, but I can tell you this, the Facebook privacy policy is 5,830 words long, and all the rules that govern our country, the U.S. Constitution, comes in at a paltry 4,543 words. That's my kid, Owen. He's 12. He's all over Facebook. Truth be told, my only real concern with Facebook is him finding a picture of me, all sweaty and drunk, passed out in a pile of my own puke. That's not me. That's some other jackass I found on Facebook. What are your pri what privacy settings do you use on Facebook? The privacy settings. 29 options across 11 categories for a nearly infinite number of configurations. The options I have to manage to keep those drunk pictures from my boy.
Currently, I rock a pretty ironclad configuration, only sharing my birthday with strangers. The trouble is, now that I have my own show on HBO, I get about 100 friend requests a day. But I guess that's my problem. The Facebook default settings are a whole lot more liberal. The entire premise of Facebook is a contradiction. It's this sponge that soaks up all the information about us. It enables intimate moments, like me chatting with my little brother while he's deployed in the Middle East. But then it makes money by broadcasting these moments. No one forces you to use Facebook. If you're gonna eat the candy, deal with the toothache. In this case, the toothache is a total loss of privacy.